them ask me, how do you make those orange magic wings you talk about all the time on the radio that you're going to destroy Sean Sharif with, thrilling and grilling at Texas Motor Speedway? And I thought I could explain it, but I could also do a video. And here it is, step-by-step, -step, orange magic salute. Step one for orange magic, put the Frank's Red Hot Sauce in to a frozen bag of chicken wings going to marinate while it thaws out. Okay, the wings have thawed out overnight. Gavin Dawson here. Hello, I've recruited my daughter Abby on the camera. Say hello, Abby. Hello, guys. I'm behind the screen, and this is Abby. Okay, now let's come back to the wings here. Zero in on the bag. As you can see, the wings have thawed out. And there's a lot of hot sauce in there, right? So we're going to get the wing sauce out. Let's get this wing sauce out. Get out of there, wing sauce. We don't need you anymore, wing sauce. The wing sauce marinated. Oh, we lost a couple of wings. That's uh, gonna happen. Uh, that's my bad. Yeah, he doesn't really do that a lot, but sometimes he will. That's just funny, but yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna poke a couple holes down here. Let's get more of this wing sauce out, man. Get out of there, wing sauce. We don't need you anymore. You did a great job marinating these bad boys. And now, you gots to go. Okay, the next step in the Orange Magic Wings is to get you a container of this, the Holy Gospel Rub from Meat Church at Premier Grilling, Frisco, El Dorado and Atoll in Plano, and the new location in McKinney on 75 and 380. And what you're going to want to do here is just, you know, apply your dry rub as you do any standard dry rubbing thing going on, and, you know, and try not to overdo it, and get a nice little coverage on both sides of these wings. Okay, now we're going to check the firebox. We put the new wood in. It's it's still somewhat fresh, you can see, but it's definitely catching. It's on fire, so I'm feeling pretty good about the quality of this fire. I know fire quality isn't the most advanced thing to be talking about for all of you, but I wanted to include it in this video because it's a really important part to cooking with the post oak and creating the orange magic. Now, Abby, if you come over here. Yeah, so guys, ca um, catch me on my videos at Abby Froze. And yeah. soon we're going to be coming out with lots of new videos. So far we don't have as much likes, so I would like to ask you to give me 100 likes. Thank you. Alright, so if we could pop up here and look at this uh, thermostat gauge, Abby. It's sitting at 225. We know we have fresh wood in the smoker box. We're looking at the stack. There's not a heavy smoke coming off that stack at all, is there, Abby? No. No, that looks safe to cook with post oak, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's time for the next step of the orange magic wings. It's time to put them on the smoker. The smoker is warm enough. The fire is healthy enough. Now, here's what I'm going to do with these important steps. I'm going to turn these over and set them down to make sure I have a good amount of rub on each side. I'm also going to put the wings back here and the little leggy things down here because I know that the legs need a little bit more time to cook, so I'm going to try to get them even. It won't, you know, be perfect. With yes, because those are wings from a chicken, and those are the legs from a chicken. So, yeah, we just, we got to make it good enough, so. Yep, that's happy. Camera lady. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, about thinking about for a job help make um, wings, and I can be um, one of his helpers. So yeah, I was thinking about that. He's pretty sure he wants to do it, but you never know, he could change his mind. So we'll see though. All right, Gavin Dawson back here with you. We're 45 minutes into the smoke of the chicken wings and we're going to pop this bad boy open. Can you get a good shot in there, Abby? You can see they're not too smoked. They're still holding up a nice orange color, but you can definitely tell the smoke has gotten on them, especially in spots like that. And that's where the deliciousness is really starting to kick in. So, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the fire's going, you know, pretty calmly. I want to uh, maybe create just a little bit more smoke, so I'm going to open up the fire box and put one small piece of post oak on there and uh, give it just that little extra kick and a little bit of extra heat to make sure we can hold the temperature until we move into the second half of the cook, which is coming up in about 45 minutes. Now that we have uh, got those out, I'm going to take a little brush here and get the syrup on, and I'm going to not be too worried about getting it everywhere, but getting it in enough places. People ask me what kind of syrup do you like, and I say, you know, anything but the fat-free and the sugar-free stuff. 
what about lots maple of syrup? Kind of syrups are good, you know. They got maple sugar. syrup. Maple syrup, yes, authentic maple syrup. Hey, that's great. You know, some people don't like it, but it tastes pretty good with the wings. At this point, we are halfway through the cook, and we're going to transfer the wings to a grill with a little bit less smoke and a more controllable temperature. For me, it's the Memphis Wood Fire Grill. Can we get a quick shot on that? Salute to Premier Grilling for hooking me up with that Memphis Wood Fire Grill. So I'll transfer it there, and I'll leave it for another 90 minutes at 225. If there are empty patches on the wings where there, where you don't see rub, like this one right here, I'll absolutely add a little bit of rub to the back side there. Just 20 minutes to go in the cook through the power of technology. We have fast forward and let's take a look. You could add sauce at this point. I'm gonna say no. The ruling is no sauce. We're gonna rock them in 20 minutes, see how they taste and how they come out. My prediction, it's gonna be pretty dang good. All right, and we are back and it's time to finish up the wings. They are, what do you think, Abby? Those are done, aren't they? Yep. All right, so now it's simple. We just pull them off the grill, and within a few short minutes of resting, it'll be time to enjoy. All right, there it is, step by step, how you can make orange magic as well. I know these wings are delicious, so I'm going to enjoy, and I hope you do as well.